wondering. Can't you see the sign over there? I'm sorry, read what? Hmm. We found ourselves a real gentle soul, we did. Take a look around. Um, you're right. I'm sorry. It's just that I've lost my kitty around here, and I was hoping that you might have seen her. Look after your dog, will you? I don't want him making any trouble here. Understand? Sir, but you didn't answer the question that I asked. You don't give up easy, do you? Anyway, the answer is no. No cats around here. Thank you. It's rare to find someone as kind as you are. What a kid. You want to tell me something, eh? Wait a minute. I think that custodian was telling the truth. I didn't smell any traces of Siamese. And there wasn't a paw print in the whole area. Uh, oh! What's the matter, Flo? We've been searching for the princess a long time now, and the more time passes, the more it seems like we'll never find her. Don't say that. You remember the dream you had when you were sick with a fever, when Princess Amy spoke to you? Of course, and I remember what she told me. She told me not to give up. Exactly. You're right. I'm sorry. We won't give up. You'll see. Flo, dear. We'll find her. We have to go or we'll be late. Don't tell me that you forgot about our lunch invitation at my boss's house. Well, kind of. Where is your head at lately, little girl? Well, it's only a matter of time, but I'll find you. You wouldn't believe it, but I'm working for your benefit. Knowing that you're being hunted has made you more careful, huh? Well, I'm smarter. <laughs> Quite a challenge. It's a shame I already know who's going to win. <laughs> you were smart to make friends with that stray dog. Too bad for you that the best of friends can become the best of enemies. <laughs> so, your daughter got you on that one, eh, Peter? I was determined not to have any animals in the house. But then you have no idea how determined she was to have one, and so she convinced me. You know, Flo, I could use someone who knows how to convince clients in my travel agency. What would you say if I offered you the job of, uh, let's say, vice president? Why should it only be vice president? <laughs> <laughs> You've really got yourself a smart little daughter there, Peter. <laughs> Tell me about it, buddy. And mine is too. Isn't that right, Vanessa? Mm -hmm. Allow me to make a toast. <clears throat> Friends, thank you for coming today. As your boss, I am proud to say that we are a fantastic team and it's all because of you. Cheers. Your estate is really marvelous, and you can see Magic thinks so too. Thanks, but you still haven't seen my favorite part yet, the stables. My father really cares for his horses. I'm sure he does. They're so beautiful. These two are absolutely my favorites. Go on, you try. You were hungry, Rush. huh? Don't worry, oh, we'll get over it soon enough. <laughs> it's nothing. They're just a little nervous today. They just need a little affection and they calm down. I can see that your father isn't the only horse expert in the family. Yeah, I really love them too. I used to ride every day after school, but... But... But then I fell off the saddle. Did you hurt yourself? Mm-hmm. 
The worst part of it is from that day I've never been able to, to get back in the saddle. I tried, but I can't. It's like a strange feeling right here in my stomach. I get afraid and I can't even move. My puppy and I together forever, it's all that I want. My mistress and I together forever, it's all that I want. Vanessa misses riding so much. She had an accident and from that moment she's been paralyzed by fear. She can't even get up on a saddle. Well, to tell the truth, I couldn't either. You can say that again. We have to help your little friend. It's our job. I brought this. One of the horses was restless, but Vanessa stroked him and he's calmed down. Maybe it was due to the fact that... Look at the Puppypedia! A group of ponies! It won't be easy to guess which is the right one for Vanessa. It never is, Flo. But it will be impossible if we don't get moving. Come on, let's go to the pony pasture. The pony pasture? I've never heard of it. What is that? It's a place where ponies live in complete freedom. It's a kind of training camp, only a lot more fun. Well, all right then, let's go. You'll see, little owner. We'll do it again this time, too. This time, we'll do it. that Flo is trying to find for someone. It looks like a pony, Ema. A pony? Well, then she's going to the pony pasture, then. For sure. And knowing her, she'll waste no time in getting... I thought we were going to the pony pasture right away to prevent the little girl from, you know... You thought wrong. Like always. Even though I thought so, too. We'll act calmly and we'll put our trust in something very special. Great! I have a feeling this time we'll steal the friendship's heart. No, we won't. Huh? Oh, what, what do you mean? No. This time I intend to steal something else, don't you know? This place is wonderful. Pocket Kingdom is full of wonderful places. Sometimes the most wonderful places are the lesser known. Come on, Cheryl, we're almost there. I don't want to contradict you, William, but that's the third time you said that. Look at the bright side. This time, we're definitely closer than the other two times wow, I said it. that's a load off my mind. Anyway, it's true. We're here. The pony pasture. There it is now. They're really awesome. There's nothing like a little workout. As long as there's time for a nice long rest. I'll bet that you'd skip the first part completely. Did you notice something strange? No, and that's exactly why we have to keep our eyes open. Ima is not the type to give up easily. They all seem to be on the same level. Yeah, it looks that way. <laughs> oh, poor thing. What a hard fall. Let's hope he didn't hurt himself. Let's go and help him. Yes, that's a good idea. No, wait, you guys. Huh? <gasps> because there is already somebody who's helping him. Come on, get up. It's nothing. Okay, now try again. No, I just can't do it. It can happen to anyone to fall down. That's life. The important thing is to get back up right away. Hey, Flo, are you thinking what I'm thinking? I bet you are, too. I used to ride every day after school, but but then I fell. From that day, I've never been able to get back in the saddle. It's like a strange feeling right here in my stomach. I think we found our puppy. Remember, the only thing that can stop us is our own self. <laughs> Thank you, Ginevra. <laughs> Hello, Flo. Hello, Magic. Hmm? Oh, don't look so surprised. Everybody in Pocket Kingdom knows who you are. We are proud of you. Thank you, and I too was admiring you over there with your little friend. 
Oh, I didn't do anything out of the ordinary. No, really, you were very useful. And it's a good thing, as you soon will be for a little girl on Earth. You mean to tell me? <gasps> There's a little girl who needs you in the big city. It's like a dream come true. <laughs> and so it is, and you've earned it. But first we have to find a magic drop. More than one puppy has told me they've seen a magic drop. Where? Let's go get it. Right away. Can't be hard. But it's caught in the Ice River. Oh, well, then it's a little hard. The Ice River is one of the most dangerous places in Pocket Kingdom. Mm-hmm. Oh, I see. Mm-hmm. But we have no other choice. We have to go. And we're with you, Flo. A hundred percent. Mm-hmm. Wherever you go, I go as well. We'll be back to get you as soon as we find the magic drop. And I'll be waiting right here. Good luck, little puppy. We finally got. Let's get busy. Friends, I have some wonderful yes, news. Drop my grass seeds near that pony. When Flo gets back, she'll have a nasty surprise. <laughs>